Hi, this is Greg Monroe from Monroe Moral Wealth Management. I wanted to give you a quick update on the stock market. Um, the market has started to rebound a little bit from the depths of the decline that it had in January. It was a pretty stiff decline where the market went down about 10% from peak to trough during that month, and things have started to rebound. I wanted to share the good news for long-term investors. The reason the stock market declined so quickly in January is primarily because the Federal Reserve has indicated that it's going to most likely increase interest rates starting in March. Remember, when the Federal Reserve increases interest rates, or why they're increasing interest rates is because the economy is doing well, and they want to make sure it doesn't get too hot, so they try and cool it down a little bit. The, the good news about a Federal Reserve increase when the economy is expanding like it is now is historically that means that we're mid-cycle in an economic expansion. It's not, it's typically not the end of an expansion. It's the middle of an expansion so that they're trying to cool things down. And typically you're pretty far away from a recession. In fact, our research department at LPL Research has shown that when the Federal Reserve starts to increase interest rates, there typically is another three to three and a half years before the stock market peaks out. So in, in, uh, in historically, you may have another three years where things expand in, uh, in the economy as well as in the stock market. Historically, that's been the case. Of course, this could be different, but it looks like the same sort of situation. You've got the economy expanding, you've got corporate profits increasing, uh, and you have a very low risk of a recession. The, r remember, the reason why stocks stay down for a long time is if you're going into a recession, and that looks very unlikely this year. So that's all the good news. So if you kind of look out six months, 12 months, 24 months from now, we feel like things will be higher in the markets. The bad news is that when you have this sort of inflection point where the uh, interest rates are starting to change and go up, the market will go through pretty volatile times and be very sensitive to any uh, news that's coming out. So you could see this market go right back down to where it was uh, in January. So good news, if you're a long-term investor, like we, we feel really confident that things look good over the next year or two. The bad news is that in the short run, you know, buckle up, get ready for a lot more volatility, ups and downs throughout the course of this year as the stock market digests this higher, these higher interest rates. Thank you.